What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Independent Experience. I'm NDXP, and we're coming to you this morning, Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Thought uh, we might start off with a few jokes to break the ice, uh, cut the tension down a little bit. Uh, we got some pretty heavy stuff to get into. So, uh, take my oil, please. I take my oil everywhere, but it keeps finding its way back. My oil says, why don't you ever take me somewhere nice? And I said, why don't you go back into the ground in West Texas? Guys, oil, as reported on this channel yesterday morning, took a big old dump. Yesterday when we reported, it was down 50%. It was somewhere around $11 a barrel. Uh, it got as low as like negative $34 a barrel yesterday. Silver linings, it's back up over, um, it's back over zero at uh, one penny, one penny a barrel right now. So it turns out we have this huge surplus of oil here in the world. Um, so much so, I think we just, let's just start dumping it back in the ocean. Yeah, I think that'd be the best thing to do really. And you know, with all the, the back and forth that Russia and Saudi Arabia had, it, it flooded the market. Uh, the price that we're seeing right now, though, is um, going to change by the end of the day today and tomorrow. And I'm going to explain that here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the markets because, brother, they are not doing good either. Um, this whole oil thing's got everybody in a tailspin. Gold is down twenty dollars currently at sixteen seventy nine ninety nine. Silver is down sixty six cents currently at fourteen seventy one, giving us a ratio of one fourteen nineteen. Platinum is down forty dollars currently at seven thirty nine sixty, and palladium is down almost three hundred dollars currently at nineteen sixty four twenty. In other metals markets, copper is sliding downward quickly. It is down almost seven cents, currently at two twenty-seven a pound, and aluminum is down a penny. Uh, it is at sixty-five cents a pound. The Dow Jones, Nasdaq, and S&P 500 all posted losses yesterday, and they are going to open up down sharply as well. The Dow Jones uh, closed down 592 points, closing out the day at uh, 23,650.44. The Nasdaq was down 89 points, closing out at 85,6073, and the S&P 500 was down 51 points, closing out at 82,23. 16. If you guys trade in Bitcoin, you will be glad to know that you have the safe haven right now. It's weird. Uh, Bitcoin's currently at 68.24.18, right around where it was this time yesterday. If you guys trade in the Utah Gold Bag, prepare for a rocky day because that price is going to be going down as soon as that market opens. Currently at $2.98, but I think we're going to see a loss of at least 5 or 6 cents before the end of the day. Now to get back to crude oil, you know, I mentioned that um, that market's going to turn around by the end of the day going into tomorrow. And that is because the May futures contracts are set to close today. Um, and that is what this price is based off of. What the price that we give is, is the, the nearest future contract is what we see. And that's why you can see, you know, if you follow this channel religiously, you'll see from time to time that, um, you know, uh, you'll see a big jump, like, uh, like a $5 swing overnight or a $10 decline. You know, those types of things are because we're going from one future contract to the next. Um, the future contract expires for May today. Um, and the reason why you're seeing the drops in metals currently is because of people needing to cover these contracts. Um, they're selling off their precious metals in order to have the liquid assets they need for the expiration of the contract. So, um, you know, this is just a temporary setback for oil, precious metals. I think more temporary for precious metals, you're going to see that price come back up relatively quickly. Um, you will see the price of crude oil come back up. But what you're also going to see is 
you know, as we roll into the June future tomorrow, which June futures currently are like twenty dollars a barrel. Um, July futures are around twenty six dollars right now. I think those June futures are going to dump in the next day or two as well, um, just to kind of follow suit with the May the May futures, just because nobody's using gas, nobody's using up the crude oil. Um, you know, we finally have filled up all the, the available reserves. Uh, America can't even buy any more oil. We, we are at capacity. Um, I can't tell you how many millions of barrels are floating offshore right now in ships that they, the ships cannot physically deliver any more crude oil because everything is full. Um, so the June future is probably not going to fare well in the next couple of days as well, um, which could mean in another month we're going to see another big sell-off just like we did here in the last 12 hours and also what we saw last month with with um, the stock market crash so let me know down in the comments what you guys think is going on with this crazy oil precious metals market um, love to hear what you guys think um, so let me know down in the comments guys I do greatly appreciate every single one of you and if you happen to appreciate old indie xp go ahead and hit that thumbs up button right there if you happen to be new to the independent experience go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe and jingle jingle bell right there in the corner bing bong so you can be notified of when new content is coming out big news i finally gave in to the youtube machine and i've got channel stickers finally coming I uh, found a company that I ended up liking, and uh, they sent me over the proof yesterday, and I said, let's tweak this, this, and this. And they said, we're on it, Mr. Woods. We got it. And, uh, yeah, so those are going to be showing up next week, and uh, going to be going out in the mail to some of you lucky, lucky fans. So if you want to catch up on some old material, I'm going to go ahead and post a card right here for you guys. You can go ahead and check out the back catalog. I've been Indie XP from the Independent Experience, and I'm here once again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find your pockets heavy.